Hello everyone and welcome back to Huddle or Cell, where we'll be breaking down Venom number 3, first appearance of Null. In the end, we will let you know if we plan to huddle or sell. As always, this is not financial advice, but purely for entertainment purposes only. Also, if you like this video, please make sure to subscribe, like, and hit that notification button to receive updates on all our content. This video is sponsored by Elite Comics 11, Instagram's number one community-powered comic sales page. This Tuesday, July 12th, we are getting the modern age comic Venom number 3, story by Donny Cates, with art and cover by Ryan Stegman and J.P. Mayer. Before there was light, there was Null. Known by many as the God of Darkness, Null predates the entire universe as we know it. He was the darkness that enveloped everything in existence. But it did not remain so forever. Soon the Celestials, gods of immense galactic power, unleashed upon the darkness their light of creation. Noel, however, taking physical form, beheaded one of the celestial beings in retaliation. The godhead would become a new world called Nowhere. And so the god of darkness waged eternal war on the cosmic beings with his living suits of symbiote armor becoming the scourge of the newly formed universe. The symbiotes would help further his dark cause across the galaxies and eventually give life to the creatures known as Venom and Carnage. And so Noel continues his reign of darkness and shadow, defeating the godlike being who wields the Necrosword may just require a touch of Venom. According to GoCollect as a 9.8 grade, Venom number 3 is currently valued at $350 with a 90 day average sale of $389. Before we give our final verdict, we want to remind you that digital slabs are now available at cherrycharts.com. For our final verdict, we give this comic a hodl. This physical comic is on fire and very popular among comic book collectors. It's an incredible story written by the talented Donny Cates and contains a first appearance of a very significant character. It has long been speculated that Null would join the MCU, and with the Necrosword being introduced in Thor Love and Thunder, these rumors have only become stronger. It's also important to mention that Marvel has been very intentional with their comic drops on Vivi, so it's very possible this could be a marketing strategy for this character before joining the MCU. It's for this reason if we land the comic on drop day, we will be holding for the long term. Please make sure to reference the spreadsheet on our link tree for each comic definition and ranking. The link will be included in the details below. Overall, we still believe that Silver Age, Key, and Grill books should have the best long-term value. Also, if you would like to see our weekly comic book rankings, please make sure to follow us on Twitter at Comics and Crypto, where we will have new VV comic book rankings every Monday. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe and check out the rest of our podcasts on Apple, Spotify, and Amazon. Along with our weekly episodes, we will also be doing a hot or sell video the day before every drop to help you make the best decision for your collection. Special thanks to Nine Finger for their incredible intro music. You can find them on Instagram at Ninefinger999. Make sure to stop by and give them some love. Thank you all again for tuning in and we will see you on the next one. It's where